hey, it's Pops, and I'm gonna talk 80s for a minute, and well, Okay, well, not really 80s because we were really talking about Journey and how much we love Journey and being children of the 80s. And then we talked about Steve Perry and we ended up going, hey, do you know Steve Perry had a new album? And my friend Lomi, Steve Perry's new album, which is called Traces. And I'm going to talk to you about Traces. I'm going to talk about Steve Perry, talk to you about the journey. Not the journey, just Journey. All right, folks, listen. You know, I love to talk about 80s, and I love Journey during the 80s, and I really, really love Steve Perry's voice. It actually really has always been engaging for me. Big fan of these songs, and when I heard he had a new album, I was like, oh, well, I'll give it a listen. And I was actually shocked that Steve Perry pretty much sounds exactly the same. I don't know how much was done in the studio, uh, but I can tell you this, if you like his voice, they definitely engineered it so it's pretty much the same. So, the album's called Traces. There's a, there's a photo of Steve. Check that out. And it is, um, sadly, a lot of Steve Perry vocals and not much else I can tell you good about it, right? So every time I listen to a track, I always feel like the really powerful, um, sort of catchy, uh, meat of a song that made Journey famous and made Journey a number one seller. I made Journey, Journey you know, I, I feel like I'm always waiting for that big, that big meat of a song that Journey made famous, right? Those number one singles, that real powerful ballad. So Steve Perry's voice really is about the same. And I could tell you that every single song, I felt like I was just on the edge, just waiting for that moment where the big journey moment was coming, right? That big power ballad, that next moment where you're really getting something that really, really grabs a hold of you and moves you into something you can engage. It's really what journey was famous, right? It was this, this period in the early 80s that were just, I mean, song after song, top in charts, big stadium shows. It was just, they were really a big, big band in the 80s. And his voice is engineered. I mean, really, I don't know what's what, what has been modified or not, but I can tell you this, if you like his voice, it's pretty much the same. Every song sounds like the beginning of one of those classic Journey songs sung by Steve Perry. The problem is there's really not a lot else, right? Every song kind of leaves you hollow, leaves you empty, find anything I really find repeatable. Any really catchy. And I got, well, actually, to be honest, I'll be totally honest, I don't think I really repeat, listen much of anything. Maybe a track or two, kind of like give them a second through, thinking that I could really pump something up for you and that kind of thing. So Steve Perry, you know, Traces is not something I can really recommend. I really can't give you much of a good score on it at all. I can tell you that if you catch it on Amazon Prime or uh, iTunes or something for free, give it a listen. Maybe I'm wrong. You can leave your comments telling them that I'm crazy, but look, I'm a huge fan of Journey. These songs are still just as good to me now as ever. They're kind of in this timeless thing for me. The nerdiness of the 80s, it's how we are, man. We're, we're total 80s nerds. If you're, you're there or you don't get us, Totally fine too. You leave that in the comments. Tell me what you like. You know what? Tell me what your favorite Journey song is. You know, there's a lot of really good songs. Um, you know, Don't Stop Believing is probably mine. I think it really is just a song that I can't not sing when it starts to play. Uh, but there are others. Open Arms was actually the first one that was really in that kind of prime and nexus time of my life where I really connected to the song, really liked it. You know, you know you're liking girls and that kind of thing. So that was it for me with Journey. So Steve Perry. Love the voice, man. You're always gonna be special in my heart, but on this, you just kinda of miss the mark, man. That's what Pops thinks. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment, hit like or subscribe. Help the channel grow. Appreciate your time. This is Pops.